yeah, that's um, that's a great question, and, and definitely the, the the change of balance of powers currently between the the you new know, state and, and federal government and, and cities. Cities are getting more and more powerful, just because there's more people and there's more economic power coming from them. Um, and uh, it's actually uh, an interesting model, but that's a model that's not uh, new, right? I mean, if you look at Europe in the uh, 18th or 19th century, even 17th century, it was made mostly of independent cities that were, you know, loosely attached to some kingdoms. Uh, and we could see a similar model coming back to life, right? Where the um, the uh, the uh, federal or state government has a little less. Uh, power and, and uh, local government has more power. I personally think that this is much more efficient uh, because local government and understanding problems locally and fixing them in, in local manner works much better than deciding at a large scale what should be done everywhere. So, um, so yes, I think that uh, that's definitely a trend. Um, it's it's hard to uh, to predict how this will materialize. Um, you know, uh, in Europe, you can imagine that uh, a federal uh, European Union would progressively, um, uh, you know, take over from states, and and uh, you know, th- this would create a, a sort of vacuum at the uh, the local level, so that would enable cities to take more power. Um, the flip side of that is uh, this is not uh, this is not very uh, fair or helpful for smaller cities, right? So we need to think of, about that also, right? Uh, what are uh, you know, small villages, small cities are uh, going to do with that. Um, and they're still going to get, um, you know, funding and public service. And uh, and to some extent, this is what you're also seeing in China, where large cities are, you know, quite rich. Uh, you have a lot of public service, education, uh, public health systems. Uh, but in the countryside, uh, with small municipalities, there's absolutely nothing. So uh, that's the challenge that this, this poses. 